everybody, it's Rob. Um, hope you are all doing good. Um, this week got a lot of information to go over in one video. I'm going to be looking at the original Rifts uh, Savage Worlds box set that they put out as opposed to the new kind of second edition to go along with the Savage Worlds Adventure Edition uh, box set. Uh, look at the differences between the boxes, the components. <clears throat> There's already been some unboxing videos out there um, for the new uh, Savage Worlds box set for Rifts, and um, they're they're really good. I'm going to do it for my viewers, go through, show you what comes in the box, and uh, also compare what comes in the box to what came in the original box and what doesn't come in the box. So... Um, Let's just jump right into it because there's a lot to go through and these videos can get kind of lengthy if I'm not careful. So, this, uh, I literally just got it in the mail today um, after a rather long shipping time, but that's a whole other video. Anyway, got it in the mail today. Uh, we checked it out. The only thing that I have done is take the plastic off of it. This is the new box. And... I've taken the plastic off just to make sure that it wasn't damaged, but none of the stuff has been taken out and I haven't had a chance to actually look at it yet. So, for those of you who are not familiar or haven't seen the original, this is the original box that they did. You notice they have more characters on the front of it. Same artwork, characters have just moved around a bit, but obviously the box size is different about twice as thick which is weird because there's not that big a difference in the stuff that comes in it now I will say this about the box uh, this one was I think it retailed for like 130 and then when they were out of print they went for some stupidly high prices online this one uh, so the the riffs art is a cardboard slip that goes on the box and that's it and this is a nice you know pretty round box with the savage worlds logo on it and everything obviously came in the box but i never really cared for the slip i like the art but i was always worried that it was going to get messed up and i like to display my stuff and you know put it on the game shelf so um I tend to keep the stuff out of the box. Didn't really use it a whole lot. And really, the biggest difference, I think, is there's a couple of maps that don't come in the new one, but they're available for individual sale. But, I digress. Let's jump into what does come in the new box. Oh, one of the differences is I showed you the slipcase. The new box is not a slipcase. This is the art printed on the box, and it is very, very heavy cardstock. And as opposed to the old box that retailed for 130 when it came out, this one retails for uh, 99. And let's see what's in it. So it's heavy. So there's the top of the box. Like I said, thick card. You can always flip that over and use it for a dice tray if you wanted to. Set it to the side. So when we open the box, this is the first thing we see. You've got bennies over here, you've got dice, there's a cardboard insert, you have a map here, and then there's GM screen and stuff below it. So this map comes in both boxes, and it is the Castle Refuge map on one side. Which gives you all the different levels of Castle Refuge. Uh, other than what it's printed on, this is the exact same map that came in the other, that one, that side of it is, the exact same map that came in the original box. The only difference, like I said, the biggest difference is the, this is like poster material, and the other one was like that, uh, the, the dry erase mats, or the poster mats, maps, battle maps that they make for uh, like Paizo Pi or whoever makes them for uh, Pathfinder and 
Uh, I think there's some other companies that use them too, and Savage Worlds has some for riffs. But this map came on that kind of material, which I, I don't guess it really had to, because you're probably not going to be using it as a battle map. Now the original map that came with it didn't have everything color-coded on the United States map like this one does. But this one has all of the territories, as you can see, color-coded and updated. Really nice. I really like the map, and I don't care that it's not the same material as the battle grid maps because <clears throat> it's going to be on my wall. It's not going to be out on the table for them to uh, fight on. The battle grid maps, and when I'm talking about battle grid maps, they're like those Paizo maps. They're, you know, you can write on them with anything. They come folded up. That's how the original maps came, including that one. So our next thing in the box, let's take a look at, is we have a set of dice. And I'm pretty sure, if they're not, they're really close. I'm pretty sure these are the exact same dice that came in the first box, even the little Coalition Skull there on the wild die. They look exactly the same. I'd have to put them side by side to compare them. But uh, nothing wrong with having more dice and more wild die. So what else we got here? All right, we have a set of 25 bennies, and I think I think the original set came with 20, and this one comes with 25. Um, the art has been updated on the bennies to a lot of the new art that's being used in the books now. There we go. I had to really tear it apart to get into it there. Everything in this box is packed really tight. So, yeah, there is, there's four, there's five with the cover from the, uh, I don't know how well you can see that, the Empires of Humanity book. You got five of those minis. sure which book this is from it may just be art out of one of the books still kind of hard to see now this one I'm familiar with you also have five from the cover of the blood and banes book Let's turn it that way that vampire hunter on there and I believe this one is from the Arcana and Mysticism book. Five of those. And then the last five are uh, that cover, that gorgeous cover from the, I believe it's the Game Master's Guide. And then the reverse side of them all have the Savage Worlds Adventure Edition riffs. Again, like I've talked about in other videos, uh, it doesn't matter what you use as bennies. So you don't have to use Savage Worlds bennies or riffs bennies. You could use whatever you want, regular poker chips, beads, whatever. But they're really nice and they're thematic. It's nice to have them. So next we have the GM screen and... The Garnet Town Gambit. I'm just gonna cut the edge of this. All right, so we have a GM screen in here. There's that landscape format I really like. And the art is again just beautiful on it. So, this is the one that came in the original. Mm, might say it's the same, but it's not. So, there, there have been some changes to it. I think it's... This side should be the same. If you'll notice in the original one, part of the art was cut off. 
and in the new one you can see their feet everything the art hasn't been cut off now the original one though not a bad screen and it was great for what it was at the time uh, it had the pro it has the problem now of the Savage Worlds game engine has changed quite a bit and um, due to that there's different stuff that you need on the inside and this new one I've already looked at the PDF of it it's really really good so you start out with your uh, combat options which is something that every player needs to be aware of, every GM needs to be aware of. <clears throat> so it has all your combat option rules. It has the injury table. It has a reaction table, which is really nice. It has the out of control table still. Uh, and that's good. Um, it has the Savage Rift setting rules here on it, and that's really nice. Um, it has the rate of fire for bullets and then ley line, arcane effects, technical difficulty table, vehicle critical table. It's really, really good. Uh, if you get the PDF, they even have some other panels that you can print out. And if you have one of those screens that you can slip the panels into, it gives you even more information to have back there. But yeah, all in all, that's. It's not bad, it's really good. I like the screen. Uh, the Garnet Town Gambit Adventure has, from what I understand, the, the same stats and stuff have been changed a little bit and updated to the new edition, but uh, nothing major there. And then we come to the core of the books. In the original box, you got three books. You've got the Tomorrow Legion Player's Guide, the Game Master's Handbook, and the Savage Foes of North America. All great books, but they were all also paperback books. Every, uh, most everything now is in hardback and really tight in there. All right. So, nice, beautiful hardback book, Tomorrow Legion Player's Guide. And I did another video that explains the differences between the two. Um, so just feel free to look at that. I'm not going to go into great detail here, but the, like I said in that video, the mechanics to the Adventure Edition have changed a bit. It's still Savage Worlds, but it's changed enough that this needed to be updated for it to work correctly. So you have your Hardback Players Legion, Tomorrow Legion Players Guide, which is really nice. And then you have your very nice Game Master's Handbook, hardback, and your Savage Foes of North America. And not only did some of this need to be changed to the new edition, uh, some of it over time had to be errated uh, because certain things <clears throat> weren't right in the first edition or had been left out by accident. Uh, for instance, uh, the Wild Vampire which was the only vampire we had access to for a while, came in the original book here. And uh, vampires' <coughs> claws have naturally, excuse me, have always done mega damage in rifts. And in here, they're not, or they weren't listed that way <coughs> in the first edition. But they've gone back and added all that in and changed it, and errat uh, the errata has been put in. And then any changes that needed to be made to the uh, creatures themselves due to the change of the edition. So we've got three books one, two, and three. And I still did that backwards. There. Books one, two, and three. Really nice, really well made. Uh, if you want to see more of the differences between this edition and last edition as far as the rules go and things that were changed in the player's guide, I have a video for that. Um, just look it up on my videos on my channel. It's not very far down. Uh, they did a fantastic job. I really like it. That's that sound of that new book cracking up in there. So really pleased with that. Pleased with all these books. But, you know, I love Riff, so I might be a little biased. Who knows? So that's everything that comes in the box. You get the three books, which 
I mean, these alone, uh, the main book, the player's guide is a $30 book. These are uh, $25 books. So, I mean, that's 80 bucks in books right there. Um, then you get the screen and an adventure, which is 20 bucks. So, boom, you've already hit your 100 You get the map, which I think is like 5 bucks. You get a set of bennies, which I think is about 20 or 25 bucks, and a set of dice. And on top of that, uh, some people don't care about this. I do. I like having a good sturdy box for my games. Not just like board games. I like to keep everything together, and uh, I like I like the sturdiness of this box. And I'm definitely going to use it to keep some rift stuff in, obviously. So what didn't come in it that came in the other? <clears throat> the other set. Well, there are two more maps that came in the original set that don't come in this set. And the first one is Forest Glade and Nexus Point. They're double-sided maps. Forest Glade and Nexus Point. And each map is gridded. I don't know how well you can see it on this camera, but they're gridded. And they have, I'll open them one up, they have, you know, ley lines and Nexus Points running across them. So... It's really beautiful art. And then here's the other side of that. Now these, like I said, don't come in the new box, and it looks like they retail for $15 a piece, but you can buy them off of uh, Pinnacle's website. And then this is the uh, Wasteland and Leyline. So. Got you some shenanigans going on outside of a shanty town there. But they are that good quality. Though I don't prefer the, the folded maps, they are that. They are really good quality. They're going to last for a long time. And uh, other than drawing it yourself, there's not a whole lot of ways to get maps with ley lines on them. So that's really nice. I'm glad that I got the original box set. Uh, if for no other reason it gave me access to these two maps. I will probably take the um, the original books, the first edition books and screen and stuff and just stick them back in the original box, put it on the shelf, just kind of a, you know, just a keepsake. Uh, the new stuff is obviously going to get a lot of use. One of the other things, and I've heard this mentioned in other videos that you can get, and you can't get this from Pinnacle's website, uh, I think because of the licensing deal that they have. But you can go to Palladium Books website and they have Rift's playing cards. And I, I think they're like, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 bucks a deck. But for a licensed playing card, that's not bad. <clears throat> and um, what I expected when I originally got these was that it was going to be like a regular deck of cards and all the face cards would have some art on them, but that is not the case. Every card in the deck, and you can see there's a little wear on these because I've played riffs with them before, but every card in the deck is a different piece of iconic riffs artwork. No two are the same, except for the Joker. I think the Joker, but one's... Maybe they're not. Uh, let's see, where's the other Joker at? Yeah, Jokers aren't even the same. So you have a, just as a Rift Joker, and then your other Joker. So, obviously, again, you don't have to have Rift's cards to play the game. Any poker deck will do. You don't have to have Rift's bennies or Rift's dice. Uh, any generic version of that stuff will do. But if you are looking to get into Savage Worlds Rifts, then this is a fantastic box. And for 100 bucks, you get a lot more than $100 worth of stuff in here. No, you don't get the two maps you got in the old one. And no, they don't equal out to the $30 price difference. But uh, I guess they do. Yeah, they're $15 a piece, so I guess that's how maybe they, they calculated that. But um, they're not hard to get. I think you can just get them right off of Pinnacle's website. So, yeah, I am really pleased with the box. 
Uh, like I said, we have a bit of a hiccup with the shipping on this particular item, but I will get into that in another video. Um, we have already purchased several of the other books. We've got Blood and Banes, and we have the Tomorrow Legion Field Manual. Uh, we have PDFs of a couple of the other ones that we're going to get hard copies of. Um, when I say we, me and my son have been buying the stuff together. Kind of a joint collection to play games. I... I, I don't know. I, I, I like the quality of the box. I'm really happy with that. I'm not really all that disappointed that the two battle mats didn't come in it, but that may be because I already had them, so I don't care that, about having a second copy of them. I like the updated world map a lot. The original map wasn't bad, but having the different areas, you know, in, in the Vampire Kingdoms and Coalition States and Federation of Magic all color coded and drawn off on the map, I like that. Because I'm going to put it up on the wall and I can, you know, tell my players, well, you see that red area there, that's that's the area you're going into. So I like that. Uh, Garnet Town Gambit, I, it's an okay adventure. I'm not blown away by it, but uh, I also haven't run it. I've kind of read it and it didn't, like, blow my socks off or anything, but it might be better if you actually play it. I don't know. I, I will probably run it at some point. The screen I like a lot. I was really pleased with it. The books, everything, everything in this box set is really, really good. Um, yeah, definitely two thumbs up. If you are looking to get into rifts, then this is hell yeah, this is a way to go. For a hundred bucks, you can't beat it. Um, and like I said, when you buy stuff from Pinnacle, you always get the uh, PDFs. And they literally sent me PDFs for everything. The adventure, the screen, the map, the books, everything that came in here, I got PDFs of immediately. So I've been able to kind of preview some of the stuff before it came in. Yeah, uh, definitely pick it up. I recommend it. I will be back. This video will probably go up about a week from now. Um, we... We have several other videos that we're doing. There's some. Uh, I have a co-host that's going to be doing some videos with me, a friend of mine that's in my game group, and we're going to be doing some top five, top ten type videos, and then maybe some other crazy stuff just for the fun of it. Um, that's all I've really got for this week. So I hope you savages stay safe out there. Good night and good luck.